guys, today we are at Indian Springs State Park in Flovilla, Georgia. This is the oldest state park in Georgia and it's full of so much history. Today we're going to share with you the history that made this park what it is today. This area used to belong to the Creek Nation. During 1813 and 1814, the Creeks were at war with the United States and they suffered terribly. Due to this warfare, there was a lot of pressure from Georgia on the Creek Nation to sell their land. In 1821, the first treaty that relinquished most of the land known as Indian Springs State Park was signed by Lower Creek Chief William McIntosh. He gained a lot of land through this treaty and actually built the Indian Springs Hotel right over there. The federal government, however, didn't recognize this first treaty, so McIntosh and his allies signed a second treaty in 1825 that relinquished the rest of the Cherokee Nation land in this area to the government. The Upper Creeks protested this treaty, saying that McIntosh did not have the sovereign authority to do this on behalf of the Creek Nation, and he was actually executed for this on May 31st, 1825. In 1826, the state of Georgia began a land lottery with the land that they got from the Creek Nation. Land Lot 1, which was the area directly around the springs here, was to be held in perpetuity as a public recreation area. This made Indian Springs the oldest public recreation area in the nation. The Creeks continued to receive pressure and harassment from the state of Georgia to give up the remainder of their land. And in 1827, the remaining Creek territory was seized by the state of Georgia. The Creek Nation was then relocated forcefully to the Indian Territory that is now Oklahoma. With history, there's a lot of bad things that happen and we can't just block those things out. So although we have this really beautiful state park, there is a lot of history that comes with it that's not so kind. In the 1800s to the early 1900s, the railroad brought visitors from all over and this place grew with hotels and became a thriving tourist attraction. By the 1920s, economic issues and other conditions brought the end to the area's Gilded Age. In 1927, however, the state of Georgia named this property Indian Springs State Park, making it the oldest state park in the state of Georgia. With the Great Depression, like all the other state parks, the CCC came in and built the infrastructure that we see today. After World War II, camping became a national pastime, and with the invention of the interstate system and affordable travel, the park became a popular tourist attraction again. They built the lake and a campsite. And over the years, more and more amenities have been added to the park. In the 1990s, they acquired the Idle Wild House, which they have renovated into the park's office and visitor center. Over the years, Creek Indians have uh, flocked to this area to drink the spring waters because of its supposed healing properties. The water comes up through the ground and takes on all of those minerals, which gives it its popular sulfur smell. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed that short tour of Indian Springs State Park. This park has so much rich history, some of it not so kind, but history nonetheless. We strongly believe in telling history how it is and not watering it down, because the more we try to cover up the past to make it less hurtful, the more we're doomed to repeat it. This park also has some really great recreation, beautiful landscapes and structures, and it's really great for a family day trip. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to like it, also, if you'd like to find your way back here, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.